With the recent launch of Wi-Fi 7, developers have quickly set their eyes on making hardware that's capable of supporting faster speeds. We'll cover how you can test out Wi-Fi 7 early on PC as we sit down and sync up with Rocket IT's weekly technology update. Hello everyone, I'm Chris Swinson, Technology Insider here at Rocket IT, and welcome to Sync Up, your new home for technology news. Wi-Fi 7 officially launched in January of this year. Since then, it's already begun to make waves, despite the slow adoption of Wi-Fi 6. Now, if you're someone who's planning to make the leap to this new iteration of Wi-Fi, let me just go ahead and compare it to jumping from VHS straight to Blu-ray, skipping DVDs altogether. Simply put, it's fast and it can handle a lot of connected devices all at once. Now, let's break it down. While Wi-Fi 7 can deliver speeds up to 40 gigabytes per second, most technology manufacturers are realistically claiming their devices can only reach 20 gigabytes per second. That said, the average home right now only has a wireless speed of 224 megabytes per second. So regardless, it's going to feel like a huge step up if your internet service provider even offers packages with those speeds. In addition to boasting faster speeds, Wi-Fi 7 devices come equipped with a multi-link operation feature, or MLO. This means that when one band of Wi-Fi becomes jammed with traffic from multiple devices, your router and computer can communicate to automatically move you to a new band that's less crowded and more stable. For you, this means less dropped connections. But here's the kicker. While Wi-Fi 7 just dropped, Microsoft is already adding support for the new standard in Windows 11. If you're a part of Microsoft's Insider Preview program, already have a Wi-Fi 7 capable router, and pay for an adequate internet package with your ISP, you can check out the latest build right now and experience Wi-Fi 7 early. But what about Windows 10, you ask? Well, it seems Wi-Fi 7 cards and the next-gen speeds they offer are not typically shipped with Windows 10 devices. Now, keep in mind that Windows 10 is heading towards its end of life in October of 2025, so that should come as no surprise. But this brings us to a crucial point. Uprooting isn't just important, it's essential. Staying on Windows 10 means missing out not just on Wi-Fi 7, but future tech innovations that could change how we live and work. So what can you do? First, consider upgrading to a Windows 11 compatible device, not only for the blazing fast speeds of Wi-Fi 7, but also to future-proof your technology. And if you're worried about making the switch, don't be. Our team at Rocket IT is here to make your transition smooth and hassle-free. For organizations that need some help seamlessly upgrading devices across their team, contact us using the link in this video's description. And to stay up to date on Trinity Technology News, hit that subscribe button and the bell to catch us on next week's episode of Sync Up with Rocket IT.